Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm so happy to be getting back into the swing of things. For those who don't know, my family and I have been dealing with a loss. So I took the last couple weeks to just grieve and now I'm just finally getting back into things. The plan is to just keep on keeping on. I really appreciate you guys' support and love and prayers and patience as I go through this really difficult time with my family. So for today's video, I wanna show you guys how to rock a ponytail in three different ways. So like for me, I have been going to the gym. That's been one of my New Year's resolutions and happy to say at the end of January, your girl is still going strong. But what that means is that I've just been pulling my hair back into a ponytail every single day. And because of that, it kind of forced me to get a little bit more creative with the ponytail because, I mean, pulling it back into just like a regular, regular ponytail every day gets old after a while. So if you're like me and you're just having trouble, you just want to find a way to spice up your ponytails a little bit, then this video is for you. So if you are interested in seeing three different ways that you can rock a ponytail, then just continue to watch. All right, so for my first style, I'm gonna do the regular, regular ponytail. I'm starting off with crazy looking hair. It's a little bit damp, but that's good. We want it to be a little bit damp because then the hair is gonna be easier to pull back. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab my DIY curl refresher and start just dampening up my edges a little bit, the front part here and a little bit on the sides. So again, it could be even easier for the hair to pull back. For those who don't know, my DIY Curl Refresher is super simple. It is just a mixture of water, a lightweight conditioner, I like to use the Diva Curl Decadence Conditioner, and then a few drops of castor oil. All right, so now that the front of my hair is a little bit more damp, I'm gonna grab some gel. My favorite gel to use when slicking back my hair is the Aloe Whipped Butter Gel by Camille Rose. The reason I like this so much is because it's more of a creamy gel, like it's not like a jelly kind of gel, it is super creamy, so it's like moisturizing but will still provide hold at the same time. So you're going to want to apply the gel everywhere that you're going to brush back to bring your hair back, so like the front edges, side edges, and even a little bit up in the back. Once the gel has been applied, I then just grab a brush and start brushing everything back into a ponytail. So because my hair was super damp and then we used such a creamy like moisturizing gel, it just made my hair super easy to just completely slick back. And now I'm just going to grab my hair clip to secure the ponytail. Ta-da! Super simple, easy. This is like my go-to on a gym day or whatever, like if I'm rushing, don't have any time. This is my new go-to. All right, so for my next ponytail look, we're gonna take it a little bit more sleek, a little bit more corporate, a little bit more classy, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a low ponytail with the side part. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my comb and create the side part first. So once we've got the side part, again, just gonna grab the same gel to slick down the sides and start brushing it down. And then once everything is slicked down, again, just grab a hair clip to secure the ponytail. So as you can see on the sides here, my front hairs are still a little bit too short to reach the clip here. So I'm just gonna grab a few of these extra long bobby pins that I found just at the pharmacy to secure those hairs and keep them looking a little slick like the rest of the hair. All right, so now that we got the sides slicked down with some bobby pins, I always, for this style, kind of like to do a little wavy wave in the front. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna grab my Eco Styler Gel. This one is the olive oil and shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed version of Eco Styler Gel. I just like this one because it's got little pretty sparkles in it. And the hold, we all already know Eco Styler Gel is boom, 
my edges never move whenever I use this. So I'm just gonna start by applying the Eco Styler Gel to my edges and then I use the brush and my fingers to kind of design the little wave. I like to use a good amount of gel to ensure that these edges do not move. See, it's just something light, super simple, but it gives it a little bit of pizzazz, you know? And ta-da, that's it for style number two. I really like this look for work. It's just got that slick back, sleek kind of corporate vibe. Um, I also kind of like it for if I have like a special occasion to go to, or if I just want to look a little bit more fancy, a little bit more clean, this is my second go-to. All right, and then for my third and final look, we're gonna go back up to a high ponytail, but this time with a little surprise, a little bit of fun in the middle. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna start by grabbing my comb and doing two parts down the middle to make like a section right here. All right, so what we're gonna do with this section of the hair is twist it back a little bit. So first things first, as you guessed, I'm gonna grab some gel so that we can keep this twist in place. Again, just using the same aloe whipped gel by Camille Rose. All right, and then I'm gonna start the twist by swirling my hair in the front and then just continuing to add hair as I twirl it backwards. And then to secure the twist, I'm just gonna grab this little mini rubber band. All right, and now that this twist is secured, I'm gonna go ahead and take these clamps out, add some more gel, and brush everything back up into another high ponytail. All right, and because this hairstyle places so much emphasis on the front of the hair, I kind of want to slick down these edges a little bit more. So again, I'm going to grab my Eco Styler Gel and just lay these edges. All right, and then for the final step, I'm gonna grab one of these foil clips that I just found online on Amazon to just add a teensers more drama to the front. And ta-da, that is style number three. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this super useful. Y'all already know what to do. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also make sure that the notification bell is turned on so that you can receive an email every time a new video drops. Also, if you like this video, just go ahead while you're at it and just give me a little thumbs up. You know, help your girl out, okay? I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.